All right, gorgeous people. So to start off my day, we're going to do some ATV riding. So we purchased this from the hotel. It was $130 per person. It included the ATV experience, transportation to and from, and it also included lunch. And we thought that was fairly decent. It was like, all right, cool, whatever. And once we arrived, it's just when like all of the bad energy like just came out of nowhere, y'all. So we got checked in and everything like that and the customer service was just terrible for me like it was do y'all want to pay ten dollars for the non-refundable insurance do you want to buy a bandana which was the extra three dollars and then you had to get a locker if you took any type of belongings because they would not allow you to carry your cell phone or carry any type of like a fanny pack or a book bag which is why you all did not see any footage from me actually riding on ATVs because they was like, if you take your phone off, take your phone out while you ride and then we're going to take you off the trail and then that's going to be the end of your experience. So we just said the hell with it, um, put all our stuff in the locker and did the experience. But the crazy part about it was like, after we got checked in, we had to wait 30 to 40 minutes before somebody even came to do anything with us. Then they went ahead, we did the whole tutorial of how to use the ATVs and all of that stuff. Once we got out on the trail, I kid y'all now, we couldn't have been out there longer than like 25 minutes. And they did take pictures and stuff like that, but we were so over the entire experience that we were just like over it. So when we came back to get our stuff out the locker, the lock that the key that we had did not open our lock. Like a couple of us tried to open it. Even the people who worked there tried to open it. Why did the key we had open the lock next to our locker? And so they ended up just having to break the lock that was on our locker so we can get our shit out. And that was just so over the whole entire experience from the poor customer service, the lock mix up, like all of that shit was crazy, right? So we didn't even stay for lunch. We didn't see our pictures that they took on the trail. We just left and said the hell wouldn't and came back to the hotel. And so now it's time to find some food and just hang out. This side of the property that I'm showing y'all is really where I kind of like came to chill out and like get away from everything and everyone because it was just quiet and peaceful over here. And I can just think and just relax and take in the vibes, right? And tonight was a celebration for the 50th wedding anniversary, which was the parents of the bride. So we were celebrating that tonight. And after that, we end up going to one of the entertainment shows. So they had a gentleman who was a professional limbo person and kudos to him because I know ain't no way in hell I would have been able to get as low as him and not touch the bar, let alone touch the fire that he is about to go ahead and get under like it was crazy so the actual show was a magician show or a magic show and he had two open acts the limbo man was one of them the other person is balancing stuff on his head y'all like <laughs> shout out to him because i know there's no way i would have been able to balance a chair or a beach lawn chair on my head for that matter it seemed like he was positioning it perfectly on that bandana. I don't know if it was something in there or what, but kudos to him. They were the best part of the show because I kid y'all not, as soon as the magician came on, I would say I probably stayed for about a good five, maybe 10 minutes max because it just wasn't that entertaining to me. So after we left, the show we actually headed over to the nightclub so they do have a nightclub on property it's open three days a week i dropped the days in the description below but the nightclub was fun like everybody turned up in there it was just a good time definitely chill vibes so that was how that day went i would highly suggest if you are going to do atv rides do not use that company because it was terrible experience it is now saturday and to start my day off i decided to try a crepe for the very first time i seen a lot of other people's getting made and they had like a whole bunch of stuff in there but y'all know me we ain't trying all of that so i just added a little bit of maple syrup to it and called it a day it was actually really good easy to hold and take because we was headed out for the day so i was happy with my breakfast 
And for today's agenda, we actually were going to Dodge River Falls. Now, I didn't necessarily want to go because I had experienced it a couple of times over. But there was a few people who had never been and like, let's just all go. So I ended up caving and we went. However, I did not purchase my ticket from the hotel because like I said, I really didn't want to go. And so my people's had a car. So I just went with them and purchased my ticket directly at the gate. So I dropped the prices below for that since I don't recall how much it was at the hotel. Once we were driving over to Duns River Falls, my people had wanted to grab this particular fruit that you just kind of buy from somebody selling it on the side of the road. And since I don't normally do that type of stuff, I was like, ooh, I don't know if I want that. And I had never had it. And so they was like, if you don't taste it, we're going to take your Jamaican card away. And so I was like, oh, I can't have my card taken away. Like, I need that, right? So <laughs> I'm going to show y'all a quick little clip of me trying this fruit, y'all. <laughs> what is that? Get, get, up, up, get, up. get up. So we supposed to watch this, y'all. But um, because we're in Jamaica, no. <laughs> they tell me just to crack this with my teeth and then eat it. So... Let's see how this works. Go. Supposed to eat what's inside. What? Yeah, just open it. Squish it. Squish it out with your Y'all, that damn fruit was like the weirdest thing I ever put into my mouth. <laughs> like, I did not know what to expect. And I feel like they set me up because I feel like they should have told me what it was going to be. Granted, they ain't know how big on textures, but Lord, I feel like I got set up. So this is us arriving over to Duns River Falls. Um, like I said, it was quick drive over. They actually stopped at KFC because they claim that Jamaica has the best KFC going. However, I can't be a great judge because I don't eat KFC in Cleveland. So I have nothing to compare it to. Personally, it just tastes like fast food. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I didn't see the big hype but everybody who I guess eats KFC in the states versus having it in Jamaica say it's definitely the best thing going so if y'all are ever in Jamaica go ahead and try that KFC if y'all eat it in the states and then try it in, in Jamaica drop me a comment let me know if y'all really do think it's actually better there than it is here all right, now it's time to head over to the falls. So if you're not familiar with Downs River Falls or never heard of it, it's like this ginormous waterfall that you climb from the bottom of the beach, obviously all the way to the top of the hill. And they do have other things for you to do in this space once you pay your entry fee from like a little garden. Like I said, they do have a beach area. They have a market i want to call it because it's a whole bunch of like little different local shops where you can kind of go buy souvenirs or knickknacks or whatever you want they also have a kitty area so they have a lot of different things that you can actually do here and it's not just the falls so like i told y'all i didn't want to climb the falls so i came to a spot where you are able to either enter into like the little pools and get a massage or get off the falls if you're tired of climbing. And I actually got here right on time to be able to see my family, take pictures, laugh, and then just kind of relax. So it was perfect timing. Thanks. So they made me try again. And this one was sweeter than the first one, but 
I still was not a fan of the texture. I tried to give it a little bit more of a chance this time, but nope. <laughs> it still was not for me. It's like this slimy feeling. I don't know. I It just feels weird in your mouth. So to each his own with this one. It's still not it, y'all. Look at this. So I actually ended up having a lot of fun hanging out with the family yesterday at Downs River Falls. It was so fun. Tried two new things. I really did like the sugar cane. So if I'm ever back over there or whenever I go back over there, I would definitely pick up some sugar cane and just munch down on that because it was really good. So if y'all like that, go ahead. I, I would suggest that. I will also suggest going to Don's River Falls or recommend it because I think it is a good experience for someone who has never been because there are a lot of different things to do. It is a very enjoyable experience and I know it's top on the list for tourist attractions for sure. Like I said, the only reason why I didn't necessarily want to do it was just because I have done it a couple times over. Other than that, go for it y'all. It is fun over there. So to start my morning, I wanted to find something else or something different for breakfast instead of going to the buffet or just grabbing fruit. So I did go to a different restaurant on the property and everything is made to order. So I was able to just get some French toast and an omelet. And I liked it better over here just because it was quiet, relaxing. Like when I start my day, I don't want to hear all that hoopla. And <laughs> <laughs> that's what it be in that buffet it's just a lot of noise a lot of people and it's just too much and so yeah found this little spot over here tucked off and ate my breakfast the food was really good like i said i like the fact that it is made to order and it's just peaceful over here so we didn't have any plans for today we had did all of the celebrations so it was really just about seeing what we can find on the resort to do. So after breakfast, we end up deciding to go do the dolphin experience. And it was a lot of fun. Like I absolutely love and adore dolphins and they seem to be happy, healthy, and like not being abused. I know sometimes this can be rough to see and people don't like to see animals, you know, caged up or whatever, but they said that they were taking care of them properly and that they can get out of this space and they do just come back because they do treat them healthy. I don't know if that was just something they was telling us or if it was true, but that's what they share with us. And yeah, it was just a lot of fun playing with the dolphins. So to cap off the evening, we decided to eat at Tomo, which is your hibachi style restaurant. You do have to make reservations for this restaurant, but there's no additional charge. You can just make reservations using the app on your phone. So I did like the food. You don't really have to, you know, say if you want steak, chicken or shrimp, 
he essentially cooks literally everything and then just asks you out of the three protein options, which one do you want? And then you just let him know. The food was good. I prefer the steak, even though I haven't really been liking steak lately, but I did prefer the steak over the other two proteins, so the chicken and the shrimp. Overall, the experience was great. My server or my cook was awesome. He had great high energy, a lot of fun. As you can see, he wrote, I love you on the grill. So it was just fun. I did enjoy the restaurant. I would suggest checking them out. Like I said, you definitely have to make reservations, but it's pretty simple. Just download the Moon Palace app and you can make your reservations for this restaurant. Gorgeous people, we have made it to Monday and on today's agenda, we're going to Kanoko Falls. So this tour was included in my room package, so I did not have to pay anything. It did include transportation to and from. So essentially it was free, but when you really think about it, you pay for it in that room package. So <laughs> that's nor here or there. Anywho, it took us about 30 minutes or so to get up to Kanoko Falls. And I was told that it was more so like a hidden gem. So it's a lot smaller and quieter than Dunn's River Falls. And not a lot of tourists go here. So since I had never been, I was definitely excited to see what they had to offer. Kind of compare it to Dunn's River Falls to see if, which one I preferred better. And to be honest, I don't know. I'm going to let y'all be the judge. Drop a comment below to let me know which one y'all like more. Kanoko Falls or Don's River Falls. So this is us arriving at Kanoko Falls. We did get a tour guide. She was pretty awesome. She walked us through the garden. So they had this garden section, as you can see, with different plants and different trees. And she explained to us what these different items were and then we also went into like this museum kind of area where it had different artifacts and it said what it was and what time of year it was from it was just a really cool experience i got to see their native fruits and vegetables some of their native dishes some of the stuff i have tried a lot of it i have especially like the fruits and vegetable pieces but it was just cool this was a fresh water spout that they just had in the middle and that you can drink from. And then we went into like the zoo section of this place and they had a whole bunch of different birds that was around. They even had a koi fish pond and she was telling us how expensive they were and the price was determined on the particular color of the koi fish. Like, I had no idea about any of this. I was like, wow, that's crazy. Especially the price tag that she was saying for some of these fish. I was like, who pays this money? <laughs> so it was just really neat to see all of the different plants and stuff like that. So we came across this cool plant and she was telling us how it just collects the rainwater and if we was ever lost in the forest, this would be a good plant to find because it has so much water in it. And y'all, that plant felt weird squeezing the water out of it, but it was a lot in there and it just collects the water, the rainwater. So if you ever lost, look for that plant. <laughs> They look weird right there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. They look like they just came out like that. Yeah, like they just came out like that. The one weird. that's the banana flower? Yeah. Okay. That white part? Yeah. It peels off three minutes into the small. Oh, this and small, then that's the end of it. Right, yeah. Banana heart. And then yeah. what's the purple thing hanging from them? Oh yeah, that's the little heart. Oh. The banana heart. So if that falls off, they gonna die? No. <laughs> After we left the garden section, then we walked up onto like the animal encounter section so here we was able to hold the bird and then we was also able to hold an iguana so just this little portion was drastically different than Downs River Falls as you saw we learned about the plants we learned about the different artifacts and now we're getting to play with the animals all before we even get to the falls. <laughs> Nice and weird. The video is crazy. It's crazy. 
It's like rough, but not too rough. It's actually feeling good. My turn. You think, you said it feel better than what I think it is? on video. No, it's, it's still cool. It's just like weird. That is <laughs> You gonna do the iguana? <laughs> I want you to know I caught all of that. Now that we have seen all of the animals, got to play with a few of them, learned about some different plants, it's finally time to go head over to the falls. And y'all, this is real. It just was, I guess, sleeping or something, but we did see it moving or breathing, but I was shocked that it was real because it looked hella fake. But um, now it's time to head to the falls. Y'all saw they had some lockers, so if you wanted to put your belongings in there, they do have a bar and grill. I suggest bringing Jamaican dollars if you exchanged it, even though they have US and Jamaican dollars on here. Cause she ain't had change for American dollars. So bring it Jamaican dollars. Now it's time for us to head down to the falls. Our tour guide did not climb the falls with us. She stayed at the top and said, go have fun. And she was catch us once we finally make it back to her. I would say Kanoko Falls was pretty easy to climb. I didn't take footage of us actually climbing just because it was hard to do that. But um, it was a cool experience. They did have a little pool that you can still sit in and relax and enjoy the vibes and kind of take a break from climbing. Or you can just keep going. And we did make it to the top and we had so much fun doing it 